Okay, now that we have copy our hard drive into an SSD drive, it's time to replace it. For that, I purchased the OWC 2011 iMac Toolkit. This kit comes with all the necessary cables for the installation. It comes with a thermal sensor cable, a blue microfiber screen cleaning cloth, uh, two drivers, one TFI and one TAS, uh, two suction cup, and one nylon pry tools. I also purchased a newer tech adapted 2.5 to 3.5 dry converter bracket. This is going to help me to accommodate my new SSS3 drive into the space of the old HDD drive. Let's connect this as we see it on the video. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to screw four screws all around. Okay, so the next step is to remove the cover of the screen. And we're going to use the suction cups to remove it. Uh, we're going to place one on each side. Just keep in mind the cover of the screen is being held by magnets behind. So don't be afraid. Pull a little bit harder in order to remove it. And once we get them out, just put them aside in a safe place. And now we're going to proceed to remove screws all around the screen. Just remember there's magnets around these areas. So by the time you're removing the screws, they might go to either left or side, depending where the magnets are. So you might need like a pair of tweezers so to grab them just in case you lose them. So let's just remove all the necessary screws around. Great, so now that we have removed all the screws, we're gonna proceed and remove the screen. So be careful, just pull it out a little bit because there's four cables that we need to detach. The first one's gonna be on the left side. All we gotta do is use the sponger or the pry tool and you're gonna push it slightly to the right, top and bottom. The next cable is gonna be on the same side but on the bottom. All we gotta do is just press it down. Moving over to the right side of the computer, we're gonna pull this tail here and then we're gonna release the cable. And next to it, we're gonna actually push it up, left and right, very careful, until we get it out. And now it's time to remove the hard drive by removing these two screws and detaching the cables from the right side. Being this uh, 2011 computer is full of dust, so what I did, I actually took it outside, I used an air spray and cleaned it all up. Just be gentle with it. And then we're gonna remove this plate that is on the side of the hard drive and we're gonna attach it to the, the new bracket. Great, now we're gonna attach this small foam and we're gonna place it on top of the hard drive. This will prevent from the hard drive to get closer to the computer. And now we're gonna connect the thermal sensor cable. And on this part, we're gonna detach the, the plastic is in front of it and we're gonna attach it to the hard drive. Uh, just make sure to connect the cables necessary as seen on the video. I had a little situation with a small phone. So what I did actually I cut a double-sided tape and I replaced sticky part to it and then place it where it's supposed to be. Okay, so I was able to fix this problem and the phone stays after all. And I placed all the cables right behind the new SSD drive. Just double check, make sure no cables are being uh, trap or anything and then screw the screws okay so now we have to connect back the four cables so we have one on the top on the left side one on the bottom one on the right side and one next to it so we're gonna start from the bottom ones I'm gonna place the monitor back in place the first one we had to go from bottom all the way to the top so it's easier to do just to use our hands the second one same thing we can go from the top to the bottom and place it i use my nails to clip it in there the third one actually we place the the middle part first and then we fold down the tail as you can see and the fourth one 
All we have to use is, is to press it to the left and click it in. Great, so now we put it back, we put all the screws where you're supposed to and we place the cover of the screen. And now we're done. Well, not really. Now we had to restart the computer to see how fast it is now. Let's just clean the monitor. Okay, now let's proceed to turn off the computer. And while we're turning on the computer, we're gonna press RP command and auction at the same time. We're gonna hold it for a little bit and let it go. What this is gonna do is gonna reset the whole thing and it's gonna recognize the new hard drive. And then now we're doing like a speed test. We have the SSD on the left side and the HDD on the right side. And sure enough, the SSD actually took close to 30 seconds to turn on while the old drive HDD took a minute and 15 or 20 seconds to turn on. Okay guys, so this video was made basically to show you that it's not really difficult to do this. Uh, this is my first time opening a computer and trying to do this, so I was a little concerned. I was thinking I was gonna break something, but as you can see on the video, it's not that difficult. And in fact, it's actually affordable to do this. It's, I probably spent close to 60 or $70 all you gotta do is to have a little patience and watch this video or any other videos that I'm actually also showing how to do it. And, and that's pretty much it. Uh, please, uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. Hey, this computer is taking forever. Oh, finally. Cool.